This video is entitled Using Features on Demand and it's going to be a fairly important video for you in terms of this exam. And let's first answer the question, what is Features on Demand? And why is this going to be such an important video? Because this is a new functionality in Windows 8 and in Windows Server 2012 and it is aimed right at the administrators, the server architects, the network planners and those folks. It changes the way our installation files are managed and it provides more control over installation sizes and as you well know administrators love more control. Now this is an excellent tool for virtual disks and virtual disks is a big world out there and it's actually solving a problem you may not have even realized that you had. Again it's a new feature expect to see something about it on the exam. Now I would suggest even when you get through watching this particular video, go out and read up a little bit about it on Microsoft's site. To really understand features on exam, let's do a little history lesson here. First of all, back in the old days, before Windows Server 2008, when you did an installation of the operating system, it went ahead and copied all the files needed to service that installation onto the disk. Then, in the future, if you wanted to modify something or add something to it, the files were there. It didn't ask you to reinsert. If you remember way back there, you'd try to make some sort of little change and it would say, install your original installation disk. And that would set off this three or four hour frantic search, right? Well, this took care of that. They changed it to where everything just got loaded on the disk. Then if you needed something, it was just there. This was especially great for home users. They no longer needed to find that OS installation disk. It was very convenient, but in some cases, it can consume quite a bit of disk space. And that's what we're after here. Now, Features on Demand offers options. The only files that get stored on the disk are those needed for the features and functionalities that are currently installed. Now, in a server world, this is pretty big because often we set a server up we install what we need, we take the operating system installation media out, and we don't need it anymore, nor do we need any other files. Server 2012 will contact Windows Update by default when it can't find something locally. So if we install Server 2012, come back later and say, oh, we want to turn on some other service, then if it's not on that disk, if we're using features on demand, it won't be, then it will automatically connect to Windows Update and try to pull that source down. However, you got to be careful here. Watch for this on the exam and in the real world. The Windows Server Update service is not supported here. So if you're using that, you're going to have to have a little bit more configuration done, but I'm not going to go into that right here. Now, why do I want to use Features on Demand? Well, the biggest reason is that files for unwanted or unneeded features are not even stored on your disk. This, number one, saves disk space, and probably the biggest reason, it reduces the security footprint of the OS. There's less there for hackers to take advantage of, to grab a hold of, and try to manipulate. It reduces, in some instances, the amount of available exploits by hackers and viruses up to 90%. That is huge in anybody's world. And another big thing, in the world of virtual images and that whole virtualization universe, this is huge. You can really control the size of your virtual disk images. So Features on Demand offers a little more control to administrators. It's a new feature. It's getting a lot of attention. Expect to see this on the exam. 